This is the intro to Long Hair Pretty Nail Show. Yeah. Hey y'all, Evie here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be trying out some new products from Model Ones. They sent over their new lipstick series gel nail starter kits. And this is part of their collaboration with Pantone Color Institute. If you guys wanna know more about the science behind colors and all of that, I will be sure to leave that information down below. This one is emboldened and then we have Fierce. And there is also matching acrylics to go with the series as well. Well, I'm gonna get into all of these swatches and see what comes in the kit. So this video is sponsored by Model Ones and they came through for y'all because they paid for both hands. So let's get to it. All right, so these are the two lipstick series gel nail starter kits. And let's start with this one and see what you get. It comes in this cute little cosmetic pouch. I think that is really, really cute. Let's see. Oh, let's come with a lamp, y'all. <laughs> I can get it out. All right, so we got a nail lamp. These are the colors. Oh, wow. <laughs> they made the bottles look like little lipstick bottles. Okay, I'll get into that in a second. Let's see what else is in here. Let me just get everything out. All right, you get, you know, a decent amount of stuff for this starter kit, that's pretty cool. So as always, you get instructions and I guess tips and stuff on the back. We got this lamp here and it is, oops. All right, so it is just one of those mini nail lamps and comes in handy if you do not have a nail lamp at home because these are gel polishes, so you're gonna have to cure them in a nail lamp. We get some charms. Yeah, those are cute, okay. Some little sequence pieces here. I can't open this up. It's hard to navigate with these long nails. <laughs> All right, so, ooh, those are pretty. And you get some more little rhinestones. These are kind of like opal. A mini buffer, a mini nail file, a cuticle cutter, and what is this? Oh, and some tweezers to help you pick up those small pieces. Then these are the gel polishes. Let's get them out of this box. Need a little assistance, cause I don't wanna break a nail. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> All right. Ooh, I am loving this colorway. This is really cute. So this one, you get a base coat and a matte top coat. These bottles are like, they kind of make them look like lipstick, but they're not lipstick, you guys. Gel polish, okay? Don't put these on your lips. I'm gonna do some color swatches with these, but I just wanna open it up because I was really, really, really excited about this one. Oh, man. Okay, okay, let me do the swatches so I can see what we working with. All right, so this first color here is, hmm, do they have names on them? Let's see. Okay, so the names are on the back here. So this one is called Lovebird. This color is so vivid. Like in person, it's like slapping you in the face. <laughs> Okay, so I wasn't too sure how the color payoff was gonna be, but this is really good. I am a fan of like thicker gel polishes that have a lot of pigmentation. And this one is meeting my expectations. This is one coat, so you're definitely gonna need two coats of this. But man, it's really creamy. The next color is Director Blue. I can't get over how cute these bottles are. Like, I haven't seen anything like it. Oh. So I tried out their gel polishes some years back and although, you know, they weren't bad, like I can definitely tell that they have upgraded their formula because they are so pigmented. I didn't really understand too much about the Pantone Color Institute, but after seeing these colors, I can see the science or, you know, I can see a difference. Like that's one coat, y'all. Next we have a vibrant orange. I am loving how creamy this formula is. I didn't know what to expect, honestly. <laughs> I am shocked. 
the vibrancy of these colors, the thickness of the gel. You can definitely like use these as like gel paints. This color is Leatris, Leatris. Y'all know I suck at pronouncing stuff, so. <laughs> and this color is Tanager Turquoise. That's a tongue twister. I love this shade of blue. Yeah, it seemed more of a baby blue than a turquoise. And the last color in this kit is Artisan's Gold. These colors are extremely pigmented. Y'all see this. <laughs> so you get decent coverage with one coat, but you would definitely probably wanna put two coats just to make sure you get the even coverage. But I am loving this formula. All right, so these are all the colors of the embolding kit side by side. And these two actually glow in the dark. My studio lights are way too bright, so I'm gonna show y'all a clip right here. All right, so I had to go to my closet, the darkest place in the house. <laughs> but yeah, as you guys can see, these two polishes glow in the dark and they are so pretty. So this is the second kit and this is the Fierce kit. You get this really pretty chrome pink case. So each kit has like different things in them, so Let's just go ahead and take this out and see what this kit comes with. This kit also comes with the instructions. You get the mini nail lamp, the buffer file. I'm guessing these are the tweezers. And you get these pretty gold pieces. Let's take it out and see up close. Ooh. So yeah, these are like metal little gold pieces and shapes. And you get this magnet because three of these polishes are the magnetic cat's eye polishes. That'd be pretty cool to work with. All right, and as you can see, the colorway on this kit is deeper, kind of more holiday theme, I think. And this kit comes with base coat and a top coat. Okay, so the shiny top coat seems to have the gold top to it. And then what came in the other kit was the matte top coat. And that one was silver on the top. All right, so let's go ahead and do these swatches. This first color here is called Raspberry. Well, once again, we have a nice color payoff, very vibrant. Next color is Racing Red. Now that is a deep red. Next color is New Maroon. It reminds me of kind of one of my favorite colors from way back in the day from OPI. It was called Root Beer Float and it was the perfect kind of like brownish, purplish color. It was so, so cute and I used to wear that all the time. This reminds me of that. And once again, as you guys can see, even with the deeper colors, the formula is still pretty much the same. It still feels nice and creamy and that is one coat. And the next color is Sparkling Fuchsia. I believe this is one of the cat eye polishes. So let's try this one out. Oh wow, that has a lot of shimmer in it. That is what it looks like before you use the magnet. So let's use the magnet and see. Ooh. Oh, I think I moved them all to one side. <laughs> Okay, come on, come come back over here. Wow, okay. Let's see if I can get them back into the center. There we go. <laughs> so that is what it looks like. And you can use the, the different magnets to push and pull the pieces where you want them to be, but that is how the cat's eye works. I wanna do a second coat. You really get the effect with two coats with this. That is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. So next we have Sterling Lavender. Oh, I just got a glimpse of it. <laughs> it's so pretty. Oh my God. 
Okay, so I thought the embolding kit was gonna be my favorite one out the two, but oh my God, I've never seen anything so beautiful. These cat eye polishes are to die for. Definitely with the cat's eye polish, you want to do two coats of the polish. These cat eye polishes have come a long way. Like I used some years ago and the pieces just didn't, it wasn't enough of them inside the polish. So they didn't really give this good of an effect. Like, look at that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, okay, I gotta move on. <laughs> All right, and finally we have Satin Chemise. Chemise. Satin Chemise. So this one is very, very light. So you definitely will need two coats of this one. So that is after the second coat. But yeah, this one is lighter and more of a subtle effect, but it's still there. All right, so these are all of the colors of the Fierce kit side by side. And as I stated earlier, there's also acrylic to match this series as well. So let's go ahead and do those swatches. So with the acrylic kit, these are smaller jars. They're only 10 grams, but you know, that's enough to get you started. Oh, okay. I like that they put these little toppers in here to stop it from spilling because sometimes you get these packages and acrylic just be everywhere. <laughs> So from doing these swatches, I have noticed that this formula is just a little bit drier than kind of what I'm used to, but I think it's because it's like really pigmented. I mean, it's not like, you know, a bad thing. It's just a different type of formulation. So just keep that in mind. So yeah, it's like when I put the first bead down, it's kind of dry, but then it starts to kind of moisten up. These acrylics are really, 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 really pigmented. So you're gonna have to clean your brush and do a lot of swiping. All right, so here are all the swatches side by side. And just the FYI, these two colors that correspond with the glow in the dark colors do not glow in the dark, just to make that clear. So since I already have nails on, I'm just gonna dive right into the gel polish. Ooh, I hate to say goodbye to the gummy bears, but we gotta move on. <laughs> so I'm just gonna snip these off, hopefully. Okay, that came off. All right, so now we are ready for design. But first I'm gonna take the base coat and apply that to all of my nails. And this just ensures that we have a nice, smooth, even surface for the gel polish to go on smoothly. And I'm just gonna cure that for 60 seconds. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Sparkling Fuchsia. So we're gonna put this on my pinky. I wanna emphasize that you have to use the magnet before you cure because the magnetic pieces inside of the gel polish is not gonna move once you cure it, okay? So make sure you do it before you cure. All right, so I'm just gonna do it this way. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cure that. I must say that for these gel polish kits, I really like how each kit has like a color story. Sometimes people put together some kits and the colors just don't go together. So these all kind of play off each other and I really, really like that. Oh, it's just so cool seeing the pieces move. And of course, you wanna make sure you clean around the cuticles before you cure. And then I'm just gonna go in with the shiny top coat. Ooh, now that is sexy. <laughs> so that is it for the Fierce kit. So now we're moving on to the Embolden kit, which has the glow in the dark polishes that I am so excited to try. I just love how vibrant this color is. So I got the nails all painted and because, you know, I had to use gel polish, it kind of adds a little bit of bulk to the nail. I'm gonna take the mini hand file and just file the sides just so I won't lose my shape. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of swirls. And with all of my line work, <laughs> we're gonna do some cleanup and kind of just tidy up 
where I need to. But as I was hoping, these polishes work really well as nail art paint. You want something that's really pigmented so you don't have to keep going over your lines. And I wanted to add some of these little blue kind of iridescent rhinestones. <laughs> okay, you don't want to do that. Look what I did. <laughs> Going to use the top coat to put those on. They should stay on. All right, I can work with that. So we're just gonna go ahead and put top coat on the rest of the nails. That is bright. <laughs> so finally, we're just gonna add cuticle oil to all of my nails. All right, so this is the finished look. And of course, these glow in the dark. Yes, oh man, that is so cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed this nail tutorial. If you guys are interested in either of these lipstick series gel polish kits, I'll be sure to leave all of the information down below. And once again, thank you Model Ones for sponsoring this video. And I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace. This is the outro to the Long Hair Pretty Nail Show, yeah.